I did a lot of writing for Elephant, man. Yeah. Like, I like a lot. Songs that I can't even remember. Power time protection. Mm. It's an apex mean the highest in anything. The highest peak in anything. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're trying to prove a point. You know? Especially, because you say, people say you're underrated. Well, you you that's every day. You hear say underrated. Every day. Personally, I don't think that I am underrated because if me did so underrated, all of them people who think them are underrated don't think me underrated because I choose them rate me why them think me underrated. Yeah. And then again, if I am underrated, I would rather to be underrated than overrated. True. But in the midst of everything, I deserve what I want. Definitely. You definitely deserve what's yours and you've been doing music on a scale and on a high level from you come out till now. 17 years. 17 years. Yeah. I do it for now. So, but we could backtrack then. Talk about 17 years ago when you first came into music. How was that? And how did you come into music? I mean, I didn't came into music 17 years ago. I in a music whole heap of years before 17 years ago. But I get my break 17 years ago. Yeah. You over 2007, I met my first hit song. Exercise every, every day. day and I'm still in a 17 years that already? Yeah, man. 2007, 2024. That's all like 17 years to me. That's a time I fly, man. Yeah, so, true. My daughter is 17. Yeah, that's and 2000, like 17 years to me. And a 2007 she bought. Yeah. 17 years. She's 17, right? Yeah, she's 17. Yes, yeah, so I mean, I look, I, I got towards the 18 years now. I'm close to the 18 years because we're in September. Yeah. Soon done. And yeah, I get towards the 18 years. 18 years in the music. So I think I create a legacy for myself in the music. I think I am somewhat a stalwart in the music, based on the work when I do and how I maintain. Yeah, true. So over when I say, Definitely. So it's just like the other day when I even do the Apex album, one of my brethren link me and say, I think I have to put a particular artist on there. And I ask him why, which is a younger artist. Young at an hype, as they mother say. So, I ask him why, he say, because him, him heart and him have a following and the people him love him. And I say, yeah, but that alone don't tell me to put an artist on my album because where that artist is now, I was there before. Yeah, true. You over what I say? So, me still think the artist there is a million miles away from me trying to reach where I am. Definitely, Who sir. Who I try to reach to is the people that I put on my album. So, I would, rather, I would like to put a... A, a Berry Salmon for my album because I would want to win the Berry Salmon fans. Yeah. You understand me? I say? And Def for me, that is growth. For me to step in back because of youth, young and hot and hype. That I may walk away from what me already. Hey, build your legacy. You over as well, I say, me don't pass this up on the journey. You know? should have asked and, for that point year. And I'm album. not exactly. And, and it's not like me, I say, I want record a song with a youth because that's something I do all the time. He probably do it with more young youth than any other artist. Yeah. But I do a body of work where really and truly, you know, because I have Tiff up on the album. Me have an artist when I'm girl, which is a young artist, same way. I heard of her, heard of her. I have a youth when I'm Chaps on the album, which is a young artist, same way. Um, so I have young artists on the album, but me, I just know one of them youth that will run down the hype. Me, I deal with substance. You over as well, I say? Definitely. Because them say I know everything with glitter, gold, and, and that are facts. You over. So if everything where you see shiny, I got things that are gold, then you're going to end up a lose out. Big time too. I true, you attack. So you said, all right, 07, so you started before that, before 07. Yeah, Tell man. me about them beginnings then. Yeah, man, then I used to write a whole song for people like Elephant Man in the early 2000s, like 2001, 2002, 2003. Yeah. Um, I used to hang out like a big ship studio, 97, 98. You over as so I say. So from me about 12, me I do this still in a job. And from me about 12 mistakes and they are Portland I go up school and just get active in the school and just find pleasure in a beat in the desk and a DJ in the school. So really and truly I can tell you I spend the whole of my life I do this. And I never do this because of hyper money, because me never know about hyper money. I just love the feeling when me get when my DJ and my little bridge in them laugh and give me a father and say, yo, that nice. Yeah. And, and me, every day I want to do something new for them. If you're over as well, yeah, man, so that, inborn thing. that keep on building my catalog now. Cause you every every day the man them say me, the man them say one new today. I'm a always have something new. So when you check when when you check it now within a short sponsor time, 
I have a whole heap of song. Because yeah. I try to prove to my bridging them so I can do it. And that really helped me because it helped me to be more creative. It yeah. helped me to think more. It helped me to focus more. You of us, and it also build me as an artist where even my vocal and all of that is concerned. Because I used to DJ hardcore, I be a clash, I used to clash as a youth. <laughs> yeah. You see, yeah, and I talk about all of the negative them and the shooting and the murder and all them things that we used to have. So we start. Yeah. You know, with, with name, Bugle. Yeah. You didn't name Bugle from them time? No, man. Them time, I don't name Bugle. When I live in Portland, I used to flip Stitchy song them so much. Over Portland, they call me Country Stitchy. Country Stitchy. When I was a youth, as a 12 year old. You yeah. I say, yo. And how me even get the name? Because when I was in school, I sing on them things. I don't have no name. I just my regular name I go by. I'm just, I call me my birth name because that a man know. And then one day, I go in our next community, which is next to our community. And the man them say, we here, say, you had a little bad DJ up at your place. DJ for we. And I stay saying, I split BL lyrics. And the man where, you, you, you know yeah, that style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man where I, I, I play the rhythm on him chest and on the, 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 the stool at the time. The, 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 the lyrics sweet him so much, he said, pull up. You know, we have the tone stitchy and we have the country stitchy. Come down, country stitchy. Yeah. And he just stuck. Probably. Stuck. <laughs> yeah. Now, bad news. You run with the name for a while? For a while, yeah, man. They know that if, 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 if me there are if me, if me there halfway tree you now or anywhere here, a man says, stitchy. Mm -hmm. I know, say, yeah. <laughs> you know me a long time. Yeah, you know me from a juvenile. Time, yeah. Because yeah. of my time, I saw people differentiate yeah, where man, people know where from. If I go to Portland right now and go to Spring Hill, I go hear all the people say, Stitchy. Yeah. No so, man, I call me Bugler. Stitchy, them call me. Yeah, hometown, man. Home and yeah, you know yeah. it's authentic when you're hometown, still call you by that name with them know you. Yeah, fam. Because of my time, you go hometown and I hear Bugle, you wonder. You tell them to call you Stitchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you don't know Bugle. Yeah, you don't know Bugle. <laughs> So, Stitch here though, man. Georgia. It's a bit so growing up in a country, rural area now, yeah. what was that growing up like? It was great. Yeah. I like had the most fun time I've having in my life as a youth, especially when summer come and then the whole of your little family them from the city come over now. Yeah. And you know the river involved and the fruits them ripe up on the tree, a mango time and, and everything I go on. I be your excitement to go river every day, go swim and cook on the side of the river. Best so the river. that was a vibe like to me, as a youth, we grew up poor. I never did know some I'm poor because me thinks I saw everybody live. Yeah. You over us because it was excitement. Like you look forward to get up in the morning and go a river. Yeah. You over us when I say, and, and you know, I left the river until, until the day done and look forward to doing it the next day again. So me thinks say, this is how everybody live yeah. as a youth. And in them area, the, the best things are free. The best things are free, as me I say. If my father don't have yam, the neighbor have yam. So we still get yam from the neighbor. That is it. And if my father have Irish potato, then the neighbor get Irish potato. If my father have kalaloo and the neighbor have cabbage, then my father get the neighbor kalaloo and get cabbage from the neighbor. So them things that make me even learn for sure. You understand? It make me learn to appreciate people even more. You see, it make me look out for everybody in my surrounding. May I tell you? So which part of me live right now, me, me, me is like a police because me look out for all of the neighbor them. You over so me I say, me see an old lady like, you see, me I got a sister. That are just my energy because that's how me grow. Serve and protect. You see, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that man. is it. So moving to Kingston, was it for the music or it was other reasons? Definitely. It was definitely for the, for the music because me, they are Portland now as a youth because I was still a teenager. I may not see a record in studio, but may I hear the song them and may I see where Stitchy and Sand them are doing. And, and Where come from? You see? <laughs> and may I say, no, I want to be a part of this, you know, so I have to go into the city. So I take for myself. When I leave Portland, leave my parents, no, no. Yeah, run, no, run away just, from home. I just take for myself. It's not like them would have a problem with it still, as long as Zushpa and them are good. Because my mother, my mother was my biggest fan. May her soul rest in peace. My father never really wanted me to do music because my father said I forgot to get a real trade. I sing it in a song, Life Savior. Yeah. I, every, me, me, me sing facts in a bridge, I make up story, you know. You see? Reality music. I stay so and sing it in a song because my father said I got to do a real trade. This is not a real trade. Because my father do not know nothing about music at the time. He's a countryman who just a deal with farming in the deep rural. He do not know nothing at all about music. So I said, that's not a real trade, you know. You have to go get a real trade. I stay so boom and go to fashion designing. Okay. And, and I learn it and learn it good too and could have cut and sew anything. But I just not comfortable to sit down one place every day around a machine. 
So I run left it and fought in the city and start to take on the studio them, which I want different kind of struggle that still. Oh, next. Make, yeah. Keep that in front like, of you. I like my life just start now. Yeah. I start to hard life, I start to bad mind people. I start to grudgeful, I start to ready, I, I start to wish for you have to fend for your own. If you're not buy your dinner, you're not eat. You know, a whole lot of things, but at the same time, I grow into a man, regardless of how young I was. You understand? Because that teach me a lot. And I remember one of the time, my mother said, it's okay to be on your own, you know. Because guess what happened now? It's when you're on your own, you're going to learn to appreciate even furniture more. Join the end, man. You it's a bed. <laughs> yeah. A bed coming like. Yeah. You never even know, so you take it for granted when you yeah, have yeah. a bed. Until yeah, man. you don't have one. Until you don't have one. A fridge, you know. Yeah. If you grow up in a house with a fridge, um, it's just a fridge. I don't know nothing. But when you actually have to go buy a fridge to yourself you now, you want to clean the fridge there every day, man. You don't even want to say, no, sure, no lose sure water in it. Show more appreciation <laughs> now. Yeah. So I teach you. And when you know the value of things, is when you really appreciate things. Yeah. yeah. So you say it was a good move coming it to It was Kingston. a great move. Yeah. I did the right thing. Yeah. And that land me right as I wish for me there is reason there today. I me mean, never take that trip there, probably you wouldn't know. Bugle, probably I just some coffee you would have drink or a bugle for me come off. Of. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still name Stitchy. Yeah, uh, Stitchy Farm, it come on for. Stitchy Farm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you make that great move there in the city you now, one city life. Yeah, I said, you see the struggles. How did you overcome the struggles now? I just hard work. As yeah. I said, hard life teach me everything when I know today. You know what mm -hmm. I just hard work overcomes all difficulties. You know? I will leave for got you. And whole lot of negative there, there, but we always try, me always try my best to develop the negative in a positive picture. So no matter how negative the person is or the situation is when I'm there or I'm there in, I always try to find that one positive there in that situation and I use that to enhance my life. You understand what I say? Definitely. Because you be a pro, a, being a product of your environment is really and truly by choice. You don't have to. You don't have to, you know? It's not hard, but I have to be a man and know, say, yo, my parents them got through too much. My four parents them, my great, great parents them got through too much to me, they just so make a fool of myself. Because me get opportunity where them never get. So what I got to do? I have to use that opportunity that make my youth them proud. My nephew said to me one day, say, we come out a poor family, but poor family now come out a we. Oh, a big talk in make. You over so I yeah. say and I me say yeah you're right. Yeah true man real talk you know? some rich pitney. Yeah. Some come have some and, rich and kids. And riches uh, and riches is not all because you have to teach them how to even deal with the riches if and when it come. Yeah. You over so I say because there's a lot of people with riches and just stupid because them feel like money is all and because they have some money you can deal with people any and any oh. More you learn to deal with the money before. It you get it, you know, because I don't want you to make that money and turn you in an idiot and we see enough of that go on. So you have to really try your best to educate the youth them outside of where the school will teach them because the school now go teach them most of the things where are going on in the real world where they come out. So, a real you know, so school will teach you how to be a worker. How to do a 9 to 5. How to be a 9 to 5. How to pay mortgage and pay car notes. A real talk. Because <laughs> they not teach you how to manage. Your money the right way. No. no not uh, you have to go learn that. You have to and, learn that. And I feel like me are the best person to teach my kids them how to actually do that. So me is supposed to be a father. Not just a father figure, but a father. Definitely. Yes, so you say they're on Elephant Man and other artists and you write music now for them. Yeah so, man. So when songs start hit where you write, what was that feeling like? Great feelings. I'm yeah. one of the first artists who actually sing a song that I wrote was Bounty Killer. Yeah. And this about this about 99, 2000. Um, I think it was about 2000, somewhere around there. So, um, I link with a youth from Shack Invasion and Piranha, and him know me love right now have a song. Yeah. And one of the time him just said to me, say, yo, more your demo to what them song for me. Now I say, so boom and demo. And the next thing we know is 
the, about two, three days after that, him come link me back with Bounty Killer sing one of the demo them. Yeah, where you, where you demo? King, had the greatest feelings, man. Cause them time the killer are the biggest, hottest. Even though I still have killers, one of the biggest artists still, you know. Because I don't know some people pretty big and hot still, but me still have him as yeah, a big a, a, a artist. A longevity. Yeah, the man so the career can't dead. Yeah, feel yeah the man can't the thing out. just build on solid rocks and it's, yeah, it is still there. It might not be the most popular in, in regards to, you know. Trending. Trending, no, but what is trending when you compare it to No, you can't compare, so no weight. comparison. You understand what I yeah. say? So, when me hear killer sing, when me hear killer voice, I sing the song, man, like, that make me know so me actually I do something. Because if Bounty Killer sing a song where people go write them time. You just tell me which song? Yeah. Which song? Um, you can be what you want to, achieve what you want to. Walla telling you you can be a star to not make them discourage you. Make these words nourish you. From your work hard you will flourish too. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> you didn't know say a killer got get that. You never know a killer got get that. Song. No, me never know him. Just bring it back with killer voice and sing it. So he put him own little ways to it though. I mean, like, a bounty killer that. Yeah. Me can't DJ like bounty okay, killer. Okay. So, he might go put for himself in a head. He might go put in a film. But, he still use the, the, melody, the melody. But, yeah. he, he curve it for him way and, 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 and you get bounty killer. So, you did meet him after that? No? Soon after that. Yeah. And, and from that day up until to the day, me and killer have a relationship that never, ever, ever need mending because we maintain it on the same levels. True over 25 years now, 24, 25 years now. So you're writing songs for Killer, Elephant Man? I did a lot of writing for Elephant Man. Yeah. Like, I like a lot. Songs that I can't even remember. Dancing songs and all them songs? Well, you see, enough of them dancing songs there. Yeah. It's not a, a one individual effort. Okay, enough of them write. Studio vibe. Studio vibe. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I would have never take props for none of them songs there. Because you have a like, song like called Pan the River. It's actually Fire Link's idea. And then every man chip in and say, say this and a man say this and, and Ellie say, yeah, that bad. And it, you know, within no time is a song that and record and that's it. So me couldn't take props for a song where, you know, the whole studio yard bill or the whole syndicate who, who did their own at the time. Yeah. So even seeing them perform and songs that you write had to be a good feeling. So in yourself now, what are you thinking? Like say, yo, when am my time now? I need my car. You have the talent for write. And you are, and you are an artist. So I know say, at a point I said, no, I'm my time now. So when what was that time? For tell you the truth, you know, King, like there is so much time when you think so your time when I really never hear time still, yeah. you know. But the almighty. But, 2007 when the exercise song started play. I remember the start of the summer, there was a party named Beer Vibes. Yeah. And Firelings and, and Jazzy T clash. So that would be Renaissance and Fire Sound clash. Um, down uh, um, on the ferry over there. So. Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. And we did flip the exercise song for Firelings. That was my first dub plate when I flip. I do all the dub plate before that, even before my boss. But at the first, I flip a dub plate, a personal dub plate, personalize it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. A special. This, and a this jazzy tea. And, and that's it, and the whole out there at the party. Because we know it's a good place, so we did it from early to and Party are going and party ram, black. As far as you can look, you see people and everybody are drink. Boom! Pride for Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Pride for Time TV over the years. You don't know. Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit. Your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show, photo shoot. You name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pride for Time TV Production. Big up on yourself. Helpa TV! Helpa time! Helpa time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa time production! Pelpa time! Pelpa time production! The Pelpa TV! For Pelpa time! It's a Pelpa time, you know it's that time! Pelpa time TV! I'm governor representing of Pelpa time, you know? Pelpa time, you know what the thing tough? 
I win a Sepelpa time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa time thing with no coffee. Yeah, man, a Pelpa time, man, I represent for you. See, we Pelpa time. Pelpa time right now. Oh, Pelpa time, I want to them, them. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Down for Pelpa time productions. Pelpa time production. It does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about. Pelpa time, keep it locked. Come represent the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa TV, our TV. It's Pelpa time TV, cross. Pelpa time protection. Mm.